We wanted to uh, introduce to you um, a, a number of, of great people today in the show. And first and foremost, we wanted to introduce to you two people that, that are, 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 are friends of the, of the show. We've got Ashley Brooks, co-founder of Baby Got Brunch Fest, as well as Matthew Feltrop, director of Patashu Foundation. Folks, thanks for joining us on the show. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Do you, do, you, do you realize that there was beer involved in that first broadcast over there? It seemed like there could have been. Yeah, there, <laughs> yeah. Was, there, was, there was something happening. It had happening. the makings of that, uh -huh. it seemed. <laughs> and rightfully, I mean, you can't bowl and not drink. Uh, this is true. Yeah, you're absolutely true. Yeah. And, and at the same time, hopefully you're doing that prior to bowling. Uh, or not. I don't know. Depending on what you want to accomplish on the bowling alley. <laughs> Seem to work for your team. I yeah. think it was. Yeah. <laughs> now, at the same, I don't, I don't think they were drinking during the game, but you know, uh, I don't know. I, I'd never hold uh, hold that to Tom. I'd be Tom. willing to bet that they probably were. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> anyway, we won. It was fantastic. Point being is that we are always looking for great uh, uh, causes. And uh, between Betty, Baby Got Brunch and uh, the Patashu Foundation, there is a fantastic cause uh, that we were wanting to showcase today. So, so let's talk about that. Um, will you, Ashley, you know a few things about food. A few. A few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you you open Milk Tooth and it's a fa that's a fantastic restaurant Thank as you. well as uh, the Garfield Park Farmers Market. Yes, and you're also a cheese maker and a baker. Well, I wouldn't call myself a cheese maker. I mean, I I did make cheese. Then you're, then you're a cheese maker a by, by the bloody definition of of making <laughs> cheese. I tried to make cheese for a couple of years at Trader's Point Creamery. Got it. And succeeded, but you know. I didn't, it wasn't a career uh, choice, I so. Uh, it was cheese for fun. It's like calling yourself a cook versus a chef, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So but you're a cheese fun. hobbyist. Yes, that's right. <laughs> cheese connoisseur. Okay. I love all things So cheese. you love cheese. <laughs> I do. Ha <laughs> Brittany, cheese. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Old family <laughs> joke. Hi, sister. I love you so much. Brittany, cheese. There it is. <laughs> it's just for you. So uh, we, we we talked about Baby Got Brunch, uh, and, uh, and this is what you know. You, you love the cheese, right? Uh, what is Baby Got Brunch? Let's, let's talk about it. What is, what's going on here? Yeah, so, um, you know, there's really never been an official brunch festival in Indianapolis. So, Which is shocking. It is kind of shocking. Yeah. So I kind of figured, well, I guess I'll do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is taking hold and and, 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 and bringing such a, a light of, I mean, the undercurrent of everything is bacon. You realize that? Yeah. So at the pot of gold, the pot of, there's a pot of gold at, at the end of every brunch, and that is the bacon bin. Everyone loves bacon. I'm Even saying, if you're a vegetarian, you secretely love bacon. Anyone know. worth knowing loves bacon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And that should be actually a, 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 a foundation of friendships. It's kind of right. like it's a litmus true. test. Good. I think we have it as a, a, a part of our employee engagement, if I'm not mistaken. Part of onboarding? Is onboarding. Like, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you like bacon? <laughs> I think it's valid. That's a valid question. So back to business. Uh, you've got an event coming up that is a, a brunch festival, August 26th. August 26th. It's at the Pan Am Pavilion. Oh, cool. Um, and it's, uh, it's, you know, Saturday morning, 10 o'clock to 2 p.m. Perfect time to, uh, drink Bloody Marys and mimosas and, and sample a bunch of brunch dishes from some of Indy's best restaurants. That is fantastic. It's a 21 so and up too, right? It is. So yes. leave your, leave your kids at home. Please <laughs> yes. do. <laughs> Or no. they'll be waiting outside for exactly. a long time. Now, 26 is a Saturday or Sunday? It's a Saturday. Okay, very cool. Very cool. So you, you can park your kids someplace and yeah. then come back to them. <laughs> you can <laughs> park your kids on Sundays too, but <laughs> well, I mean, it yeah. is on a Saturday. It is on a Saturday. So you've got a bottomless mimosa. Yeah, so with a ticket price, it's an open bar. So bottomless mimosas and Bloody Marys. And we have a build your own Bloody Mary bar, which is sponsored by Goose the Market, okay. Smoking Goose. So I think you'll hear a little bit about that later on when Chris Ely joins the show. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so it's really exciting. And I think that's a that's a big draw for people. That is all I need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but to double that, I mean, I mean you know, obviously having the brunch fest is, is one thing, but at the same time, it all goes to a ben to benefit a foundation, right? That's right. Yeah, so, it's all for a really good cause. Whose foundation? So. Whose foundation? Matthew, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of the proceeds from this event are going to go and uh, help us serve and and solve childhood hunger here in Indianapolis. Um, the Potashu cool. Foundation started four years ago, and since then we've served fifty thousand meals to kids 
after school at uh, the schools that they're they're going to, and and we're taking them some really nutritious, high quality food that they deserve. I'm not sure if you tuned into last week's show, but we had Kara Kavinsky of INX3 as well as Lisa Mitchell from Amplify Indie on, and we were yes. talking about women op- entrepreneurs here in Indy, and we were like loving all over Martha Hoover. So can you tell us more about her? Because she's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> she is an incredible woman, and she is the founder of the foundation. Um, Martha started the restaurants in 1989, the Cafe Potashu restaurants, Napoli's Petit Chou, and... Uh, she often tells the story that it was a really simple mission to bring food that she would want to put on the table at home. Mm. And it's really interesting that it's come full circle where she's had the opportunity now to um, put food on the table for a lot of other families um, at schools that we're serving. So, yeah, definitely an inspirational woman. Yeah. So you've recently celebrated the 50,000th meal served and congratulations to that well thank you that's how, a lot it's a lot of food <laughs> yes it is yes it is how uh how long has the organization been in existence the foundation so we've been around uh for four years since 2013 wow. and we started serving at one location we were partnered with um about 30 students that we were serving after school mm-hmm. and since then we've grown now we're partnered with eight different schools here in town and we're really targeting areas that struggle with food access and um, just schools that have high rates of poverty. And we bring fresh foods into them and we're serving about 850 meals a week right now. Is there a good way for schools who have that need to get in touch with you all? Like, I imagine you want to connect with as many Absolutely. I would be really can. happy to talk to anyone. You can find my contact information on our website. But cool. um, we're really committed to all the schools that we're at. And mm-hmm. so um, that's been one of our growth points is to really get ingrained in the culture of the schools that we're at already. Absolutely. Um, do you have any other uh, alliances with other other uh, uh, um, restaurants and restaurateurs such as as, as Cafe Patishu? And is that an on-ramping that you're you're looking to actually uh, have uh, for the for, for Indianapolis restaurateurs? Yeah, I think we're always open to new opportunities to partner with other restaurant organizations or really any organization who wants to get on board. Um, One of the really great ways that we've been able to partner in the past with specifically lots of different people involved in the food service industry is to plug them into something that's meaningful for them. We have tons of servers that um, some of them work for Potashu and some of them work for other companies that really find value in serving great food. And now they're able to do that uh, to kids and giving back to their community. And so uh, that's been a really great opportunity for really just lots of community members to be a part of what we're doing. There's so much bad food out there that's so terrible for anybody, but especially little child body, like little kids who need good, strong, Absolutely. healthy food. So to give that, give back in that way, that must be really rewarding for Well, kids for are making involved. lots of habits when they're really young. Oh and my God, so yes. by exposing kids to new things uh, and also really great choices for their body and and telling them that, that – healthy food and good choices can actually taste good. Uh, that's a great learning opportunity. So we kind of look at that dinner table that we create as a as a education space. But on top of that, we also couple um, the meals that we serve with a hands-on lesson that we do with kids around exploring new tastes and, and, and trying new flavors and a little bit of cooking basics and also just life skills around the table, being able to have a conversation. It's such an wow. important thing that should be modeled all the time. And so we do that with all the kids that we serve as well. It's incredible. That, that is. And, and I'll double down on that from an education standpoint. There's so many issues uh, that are food-based and, and just the, I mean, honestly, the food industry and such a reliance on on high fructose and, and the entire sugar industry. Yeah, it's kind of a hot mess. It, it, it literally is. Mm-hmm. And there's an incredible addiction to sugar. And, and if you're actually teaching kids the right way, it's kind of like the Dave Ramsey thing. If you actually teach Financial Peace University and under, uh, education on on how to balance your checkbook, yeah, th- those life skills are fantastic. Yeah. I mean, in, in the space of, of knowing a good diet, I mean, I've, I've – I've, I've had my own challenges in, in, in my life, but man, I see that in the kids that I interact with, there are certain, so many challenges and, and it's tough to, to, to get them out of that programming because the world, the food industry is trying to program them because of, because it's an industry, because it's, because it's, you know, corporations. Yeah. Well, we have Indianapolis public schools has a um, free and reduced lunch rate that yep. is hovers around 75%, which is 
really high. Yeah. Uh, in the schools that we serve, uh, most of them are about 80 to 85, 90 percent uh, free and reduced lunch rate, which is a kind of a poverty indicator. But right, 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 when right. you think about all the stress that um, you might face putting dinner on the table for your family, if you kind of couple all those issues um, with um, going to a job, maybe working two or three jobs, um, all the, the stressors that poverty uh, kind of produces, it's really difficult. And um, we certainly are never blame any of the families we were a partner with all of them so yeah at the same time you know that those children feel that too you know parents try and keep that kind of thing away from their kids and, and protect them from knowing that you know sometimes it's hard to put a meal on the table but these kids don't ever have to know that like they're getting these great meals and sure and they can also really um learn to appreciate around the table what yeah. real food is yeah fantastic so Back to Baby Got Brunch, yeah. and thanks for 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 uh, uh, just setting this up. And how did you connect with uh, the Patachu Foundation uh, and, and getting involved there? Yeah, so all these things that Matthew was talking about are so important to me, and I feel like I'm always trying to, you know, I have this thread in everything I do to, you know, give back to the community and make connections and um, teach people about where their food comes from, and I think all those things are so important. Yeah. Um, so the Patachu Foundation was just a natural choice. Yeah. Yeah. As far as the participants for the event, you've got some great restaurants on board. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to tell us a little bit about those? So and, many. So and many how great. You, and how you chose between yeah. so many options. Well, I mean, it's an open application process. Sure. So when we were just um, announcing, you know, getting the word out there, anyone can apply. Mm -hmm. And we're actually still taking applications. Cool. So just trying to round off, you know, and, and make sure there's no food for everybody. Um yeah, so we have some of the best restaurants in town. We've got Bluebeard and Rook and Pioneer, and we have Twenty oh, wow. Second Street Diner and um, B Coffee Roasters is our coffee partner on this event, and they'll be doing a League of Lattes on stage with a latte art competition. So lots of fun things. These are to good interact things. With. These are, these are, these are very good. Things. All yeah. good. Good work. <laughs> yeah, and we've got some great places from like the north side too. So Eggshell Bistro and Luvino and Fishers and. Just cool. some places that you may not have heard of or, yeah, just get to experience all the delicious things. So if you're still accepting restaurants, how can they get in touch with you or what's that application um, process? We're on, like? we're on Facebook okay. and Instagram. Yep. We'll go um, that. If you know me, you can just reach out to me personally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just give you a text of some sort. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am curious, though, as far as brunch goes, what is your favorite brunch item? Oh, my gosh. So many things. This is a really loaded question for me. We'll get to I you and your bacon. <laughs> um, I'm much more of like, I love savory stuff more okay. than I am a, like a sweets person. So anything with like bacon and. Say thank you. Uh, thank the you. The salt, the fat, the acid, like just the mixture of it all. Oh my gosh. All the things. Gotta Matthew, have a little bit of everything. Favorite brunch item? Yeah, I'm going to say the same thing. I'm, I'm a savory kind of guy. I, I love a good quiche. I won't lie. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Has to be a good one. What kind of quiche? <laughs> if you were a quiche, what kind of quiche would you be? <laughs> this is a psychological and why? question. <laughs> yes, and why? I don't know. And I, I would definitely put bacon in it. Bacon that's quiche. For sure. Thank you. I respect I appreciate that. It. Yeah. All right. Have you ever seen a bacon taco? Here comes a squirrel, everyone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Now, a bacon taco is literally six strips of thick bacon woven with another six strips of thick bacon folded with bacon-flavored mashed potatoes and cheese and sprinkled what? bacon on top. Do you remember what you just talked gratuitous. about? Healthy food. <laughs> 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 and the mission to there serve was a, our families. There was a healthy cow right. someplace. Right. right? Well, uh, uh, actually, bacon's going to be a pig. But uh, the, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that at some point in time, you have to be able to indulge and then bounce back. Right? right. So if you're going to indulge... Indulge with a bacon taco. So yeah, there's a fine line between, you know, indulgence and easy, um, just being grody. Easy, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> and bacon woven together. That, that's a new level. <laughs> Get checking up. Google bacon tacos. I mean, it, it, it is it, it is bloody amazing. So so to wrap up, baby got brunch. We've got a lot of restaurants uh, attending, a lot of really great um uh, uh opportunities to to come out uh where is it again it's at the pan am pavilion pan am so, pavilion um we have uh, just a 
couple hundred, few hundred tickets left, so it's selling out very quickly. Very good. Um, it's fifty dollars, right? Fifty dollars for general admission, um, okay. and that's from eleven to two. And then VIP tickets, which we only have literally a handful left, um, gets you in an hour early, and those are seventy five. So you can find tickets online. So you on, can pick that's extra all mimosas the best. and yeah. extra bacon. <laughs> yeah, avoid the lines and just get in and get to experience wow. the whole thing an hour early. Um, and so um, tickets are available on eventbrite.com. You can find the link through Facebook and our Instagram. Yeah, we'll Very share cool. all that too. And we're going to share their social media handles and things yep, too, yep, right? Yep, yep, absolutely. Oh, so on uh, on Twitter, ba Baby Got Brunch. Uh, if we've got those loaded up, Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Baby Got Brunch Indy. Uh, Instagram is Baby Got Brunch Indy as well. The Patitou Foundation. Oh, what's your website, by the way? We don't have a website. I... Not this year. But I know we, somebody. We... You might need a website. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Food website. We'll do this again. Okay. For sure. Very good. Uh, <laughs> with the Patafu Foundation, it's the Patafu. Patafu. No, the Patafu. <laughs> yeah, it's easily done. <laughs> I mean, if you read it, it's easily eh, consonants. It's, an, it's a new website. It's a new <laughs> website. I'll, I'll just read on the screen yeah. there. Uh, the Patafu Foundation dot org. Uh, Twitter is Patafu five hundred one c three. Facebook is uh, Facebook dot com. The Patafu Foundation. Instagram the Patafu Foundation. See, I'm doing it well. Very good. <laughs> Patafu <laughs> Foundation. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> 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 uh, LinkedIn is the Patitou Foundation as well, and we certainly appreciate uh, 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 Martha Hoover for for uh, being able to pull all this together and and be able to do such a great thing regularly. It's it's a fantastic, 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 fantastic. <laughs> Not fired. It Hot really mess. Is. Hot is, mess. That's a wonderful <laughs> He's thing. He's thinking I about the bacon thing. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> That's an amazing thing. The I just found talk. that. I know. Found a uh, fantastic uh, <laughs> opportunity. So, so go check out everything uh, and check out the foundation. That's right. Uh, and, and, uh, get your and, tickets. And get your tickets uh, before yes. they all run out. Get your VIP tickets as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, uh, everybody, for participating. Thank Ashley, you for Matt, Thanks for having you're us. You're more than welcome. And, uh, you know, next time you're more than welcome to bring some bacon. All right. Okay. Or, or, cinnamon, noted. or cinnamon rolls <laughs> or cheese. <laughs> all right. So check it all out and uh, be sure you participate in this great event because uh, it's going to a worthy, worthy cause. All right.